What's up guys, this is Charlie from techinform.us. Today I'm going to be showing you um, how to fix some Windows component errors. Um, now I know a lot of people have been having problems with Windows 7 and on Windows Vista um, about the Windows installer not working. Like when you try to download and install a file and it'll say, um, quote, quote, the uh, Windows installer is not installed correctly. So, And also I know some people have been having when um, they go to the computer and then the control panel and they try to um, check for updates um, when you go to this page um, for some people it may not well when you hit check for updates it'll say Windows is unable to check for updates um, I know both of those things have both happened to me and so um, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix that uh, now make sure you are logged into your administrative account you can tell if you are by going well opening up on 7, opening up your computer, and on Vista, and um, going to Control Panel, and then going to User Accounts, and then uh, it'll say um, your name and the administrator. Um, so um, just make sure you're logged into that account. So um, as you're logged into the, your administrative account, you're going to go over here to the start menu, and you type in CMD, and then under the programs, it'll open up this. Just open up this right here. Um, now, as you can see right here, this is basically um, on Mac. If you're a Mac user, also, this is just like terminal. Um, so what we're gonna do. Um, well, first, before we start off, I need to say that I am not responsible for anything that happens to your computer during this. I know for a fact that this works with Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Um, I know it works with Windows 7 Ultimate and Windows Vista Home Premium. To the specific, I'm pretty dang sure it works with all other versions, but um, I'm not responsible for anything you do. If you do it exactly the way I'm going to do it in the video, it should work all fine, but I'm still not responsible. Just wanted to get that out of the way. So, um, when you're here, you're going to type in, well, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be running an SFC scan. Um, this will basically scan your computer for all any um, basically missing files and replace them. Um, if you installed a version of Windows through a CD, like let's say you upgraded to 7, you may be prompted to put your CD in. No big deal, just open your CD drive and put it in. Um, if not, just let's say you upgraded, you don't have a CD drive and you upgraded to Windows Vista via a ISO. Um, just make sure you locate that ISO. So um, what, we're, what you're going to do, you're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Um, now you're going to just hit enter now. You're going to need to um, basically restart your computer after the end of this. Um, it may take a while. It'll install some updates. So um, this will take a long time. Um, I found it usually takes between 15 and 30 minutes, so um, I'm, I've, I've already done this. My computer works fine for now. Huh, you know how Windows, I know how Windows computers get. They can sometimes last forever and be fine, and they can also sometimes crap out on you, I know, uh, very shortly. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped anybody who basically needed it. Make sure to check out the website that I write for. Um, up here at www.techinform.us follow me on twitter at twitter.com slash abnicus and um, as soon as this loads I will talk to you guys in the next video um, okay you know what screw this well actually here it is um, here's our site that it, well the site that I write for make sure to check this out for all the technology news um, so thanks for watching. Um, I hope this helped basically anybody who needed it.